Having the best trading tools is important to a professional Forex and crypto trader. Maverick Currencies believes TradingView is one of the best tools for traders. Since our traders trade our capital and keep 70 to 80% of profits, it's essential to have the best trading tools, which is why we substantially train all our traders to use TradingView to maximize their profits. We're happy to share our expertise with the public to make you a better Forex or crypto trader. If you're ready to be a professional Forex and crypto trader, click on the apply link in the video description. Now on to our tutorial. Hello traders, Imri here and welcome to another TradingView tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can measure price and time on a TradingView price chart very easily. So there's an actual icon you can click, which is this ruler button, uh, which brings up the measurement tool. And you'll notice that there's also a keyboard shortcut. If you hold shift and click once on the chart, you can also use the measuring tool. So first we're gonna measure a rally in Bitcoin. So we're gonna start uh, by clicking that ruler icon bringing our ruler to that low from Monday, uh, November 21st, 2022. And then we're going to take the measurement tool to the high of July 13th of this year. And we can see that Bitcoin has rallied a little bit over 106%. It's taken place over 234 uh, days and we're on the daily chart. So it lines up with 234 price bars. We can even see some volume, volume information and some price information here where the rally was $16,402.21. Okay, so if as soon as I left click anywhere on the chart, this box is going to disappear. Now we're going to use the keyboard shortcut. So I'm holding shift, I'm clicking once on the price chart, and then I'm simply bringing uh, the second point to a significant low. So here we're tracking the recent decline in Bitcoin and we can see the decline is just a little bit over 20% spanning a little over six and a half thousand dollars and it's taken place over a 35 day period. And that's how you measure time and price very easily on any trading view chart. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.